saying compost. This is an old potato bowl. Oh no, it was a pumpkin container, wasn't it? Or two years ago. So what we've done is put a couple of layers, maybe four or five layers up to there of paper and boxes and all this cardboard, all the things we've been collecting, soaked it down. Monty did a brilliant job of them. Um, then I put all these leaves, so we've got all these leaves from the neighbourhood and now garden. Soaked in a compost tea, which has been brewing for a, a little while. And it's full of fungi, I'm hoping, fungal spores, because I put in some, some um, inoculated wood, which I put in here as well. The inoculated wood is here. There, so that's also in there. I put in some green weeds. I'm not sure how they'll go because that's a, that's a pig face. I'm not sure how it'll go. But anyway, I put in some comfrey. Should back up a bit better. Comfrey because it's got so many minerals in it. Lots of magnesium, potassium. And deep in the soil profile, it's excellent. Soil conditioner. I put in... Um, this is from... Farm from the Touchin, there's I collected a couple of pieces of charred wood. I just smashed it up so it's like biochar. Put that in. Then I've got lime. So here I've been saving this for this very job. Look at that. Look at the worms in it. Look at the size of them. And it smells beautiful. Totally aerobic. So, so we wanted a, we want as much air in there as possible. This is also a case of oh, bread. So look at these worms. This is the same thing. Look at that. I'll keep some aside. I'll just keep some of those guys. Look at them. Can you believe that? It's incredible. They all just came out of the ground. I did not put a worm in there. Look at them. Holy. So I'll keep those guys. Just because this is their home. And I'll use the rest of this in the compost.